Thank you, Jody. All right, let's do some chair yoga. So pull up a chair, preferably one without arms, although you can move around if you happen to have a chair with arms, but um, it's preferable to have one without arms. And then find yourself comfortably in your seat. So see if you can scooch back so you can feel the support of the chair seat, but also the lower back um, can, can feel the back of the chair. And then notice, look down at your feet and notice if they're on the floor. Some of us have um, different sized chairs and our legs are different sizes. So if your feet don't uh, quite reach the floor, you might tuck a block under each foot so that you can really lengthen your spine. And then we'll take those shoulders, draw them up and slowly loop them on back and let them come on down away from the ears. Yeah, and here we are, nice bright posture. So notice what's going on with your chin. See if you can tuck it in slightly if it's uh, jutting forward just a bit. And then let your palms rest in your lap. So I like to rest my palms face up because that opens my heart a little bit more opens that area of the chest gives me a little more um, stretch in that area but feel free to place your palms wherever they feel most um, relaxed and then if you're comfortable closing your eyes let's do that if not just soften your gaze so you can um, imagine you're sort of gazing down to your heart to soften the gaze. The yogis say it's like nine-tenths or seven-eighths of the way closed or something like that. Don't worry too much about that. Just soften it. And just begin to become aware of your body in the chair, in your space. Some of us have animals in the room. Just notice. Maybe there's a, a sound coming from the animal people, animal friends in our space. A quiet snore. Little movements. See if you can tune into the temperature of the air that's on your skin that is exposed to the air. And bring your awareness down to your feet. Just notice the parts of the feet that are making contact with the surface beneath them. Feel the bottoms of the feet, the tops of the feet. And draw your awareness up your legs. Just pause at your knees. Noticing the fronts and the backs of the knees. And really feel that connection that you're making with the chair beneath you. And draw your awareness up into your belly. See if you can invite a softening of the belly. So if you're letting your belly hang out a little bit, just congratulate yourself, <laughs> soften. Make some space for the air that we will be bringing in shortly. And draw your awareness up to your heart. Your shoulders, your throat. Perhaps swallow in your throat to soften that area of the, the throat and the front and backs of the neck. And 
Notice the jaw, the brow, even the scalp as you bring your awareness up to the crown of your head. See if you can imagine a long line from your tailbone up to the crown of the head, lengthening, reaching, finding that tall posture. And then with all that relaxation combined with that active awareness of the body, invite in a deeper breath through your nose, breathing in slowly, filling up belly, ribs and lungs. Pause at the top of that inhalation. Just noticing the sensation of being full. And then through your nostrils, exhale slowly, keep it slow. But release all of the air and then pause at the bottom of the exhalation too. We'll take this breath really slow. Beginning again when you're ready. Filling up every little nook and cranny. See if you can find places that haven't felt the breath in a while, maybe, or maybe you just haven't noticed. Pause at the top of your inhalation. And then slowly release that breath through the nostrils until all of it is released, the belly draws back into the spine, and pause. Good. Let's take one more together, inhaling, pausing, exhaling, and pausing. Of course, we'll be breathing throughout the practice, but our breath might always, not always be so synchronized. But for, for that beginning of our practice, we were all together, hopefully. So when you're ready, blink open your eyes, take your arms out wide, inhale, reach them up to the sky. Unless you have any shoulder injuries today, see if you can get really long. Reach those fingertips up and then take a look up. Wiggle your fingers, and then bring your palms together. Draw them right down the center of the body until they land right at your heart center, and then lower your chin to your chest so you get a, your first stretch of the back of the neck. And then take just a moment to create an intention for this practice. So it can be what comes to mind. Perhaps it's just to Find a little flexibility in the body, maybe a little flexibility in the mind, or maybe just to connect with that breath, that vehicle for our prana, our energy. And once you have that, blink your eyes open again. If they're closed, inhale, reach up. Let's take two more of these. As we exhale, we'll bring chin to chest, hands to heart. Last one, third time's a charm. Reach up, look up, and exhale. Hands to heart center, chin to chest. Good. Let's take the arms all the way up, and then we'll take uh, the left hand to the left side of the chair. Lean over, I'm sorry, left hand to the, to the chair, and then lean over to your left. I'm trying to mirror you. It might, it might be a massive fail. But we'll try. What can we do? Breathe in and breathe out. And then switch sides. Wherever you started is perfect. And just getting that side stretch on, keeping the feet firmly connected to the floor beneath you. Let's take two more each side, moving with your breath, inhaling, getting long, and exhaling to switch sides. Imagine, imagining you're swaying like the, the waving wheat of Oklahoma, 
or the Phragmites behind me, those invasive plants that are taking over the beach. But I think they're neat looking because they wave with the wind. Good. On this last one, let's just sit up nice and tall again. We'll take a few more circles of the shoulders. So up, back, and down. We'll keep them up, back, and down so that we can draw the shoulders back. And on this last one, see if you can get your shoulder blades to draw toward one another and really engage that upper back. Good. And then just let it go, shake it out. Good. Take your hands and let them rest right on your legs. Again, wherever they're comfortable. Take a big breath in and turn your gaze toward the right shoulder. Oh, here we go. Left shoulder. <laughs> Whatever side is perfect. And exhale back to center. And then inhale, take it to the other side, keeping your torso just facing forward. Come back to center and take it two more times each side. We're just checking in with the mobility of the neck, noticing what we have available to us today. Just moving slowly with your breath. Good. So just starting slowly. Let's take our hands to the fronts of our knees here. We'll just wrap your palms around them. We're going to take a seated cat cow. So we're going to exhale and bring our chin down to our chest as we round forward and draw the belly into the spine. Again, feet staying firmly planted on the floor. As you inhale, draw those shoulders back and down just like we did and then take your gaze up. Maybe your hands come up your legs slightly. Good. Exhale, round, belly draws to spine, and then inhale, lift your gaze, shine your heart, squeeze your shoulder blades. This next time, let's see if we can take it a little, a little farther here. So exhale as you round, draw your belly into your spine, and then see if you can get your lower back to really press into the back of the chair. Good. On your inhalation, draw your shoulders back. Take your shoulder blades toward one another. Gaze up. Squeeze them together. That's the pause at the top of the inhalation. And then on your exhalation, let it go. Shake it out. Good. All right. So take your hands somewhere around your uh, thighs, on your knees perhaps, and we'll take some gentle hip circles. So taking a circular motion, just checking in with that lower back. Again, feet firmly planted. We have a nice foundation. If you ever feel like you're not steady enough, take your feet a little bit wider. And keeping your breath smooth as you take these circles, make the circles as small or as big as you like. Good. Switch directions. Don't get dizzy. Excellent. Just warming up, still warming up. Nice. And then come back to center, sit up tall. Maybe bring your feet back in front of the legs of your chair if you've gone a little rogue, gotten a little wide. And breathe in, take the shoulders up, back and down one more time, because we can. And then we're gonna take our chin back down to our chest and just draw some circles with our nose. Noticing any snap crackles or pops that might happen. I always have them. Just draw the circles with your nose right in front of you. Excellent. And switch directions. Switch direction. Singular. <laughs> I had to write a paper. I have, I have two papers due for this class, uh, these classes I'm taking. And um, I ran them through this new app called Grammarly. And it's amazing how many mistakes you can make. Switch directions. Let's go twice more each direction. One more time each, direction, each direction. So go ahead and switch again. Let's get that neck nice and warmed up. 
and then come back to center find that center place if you're a little bit dizzy find something to look at smile it's fun and then take your left arm reach it up and over reach for your right ear and let's take a little side bend here with the neck so you can also take your right hand down the side of your chair and hold on to it just to give your shoulder a little more stretch here and let's take three breaths here see if you can soften into this stretch so yeah it can be intense breathe in soft long exhalation good And when you finish that third breath, just release that. Maybe take your head in a little bit of a circle if that feels okay, going both directions if that feels okay. And then come back up to center, take the opposite hand up and over, and then hook that hand, uh, the, the left arm on the side of the chair. That'll give you that extra something, something. And draw that ear over. See if you can get some, make some extra room there. Good. Take those three breaths, slow and easy, no rush here. Nice. And slowly release that, shake that out. Let's take a hold of our earlobes and give our earlobes and those, the, insides of the ears just a little massage so we know that gets into that fascia that releases the fascia elsewhere in the body miraculously so let's see what we can do here and then when that feels complete to you just let your hands rest this time palms face up so we're, we have that bright posture let your eyes close for a moment Sit up tall, tuck the chin, and just close your eyes. Notice so far what change we have affected in our body, our mind. Take a nice big deep breath here. Good. Blink your eyes open. Take your wrists for some circles going in opposite directions. Maybe the same direction, switch it up. And let's do our favorite left hand shakes left and right, right hand shakes up and down. And if you can't do this, don't worry, nobody can. <laughs> right hand shakes right and left, left hand shakes up and down. We're just getting our brain going. Good. And then shake all that out, forget about it, forget about it. Good. Take your legs a little bit wider than your chair. Inhale, sweep up and look up. And then exhale, take a twist, a gentle twist toward whichever side feels right. See if you can take it from the rib cage. Once you land there, we're going to notice our breath. So sometimes in these twists, the breath can be a little bit constricted. See if you can try to breathe deeply as you take your gaze over your shoulders keeping your feet planted on the floor using this opposite hand that's reached across the body to um, give you some leverage pressing the leg into the hand and the hand into the leg let's take two more breaths here inhaling to lift and lengthen crown of the head reaching toward the ceiling and exhale See where your neck will allow you to gaze. See what you can see over here. Wow, it's a whole new world over this side. Breathe in. Exhale. One more. Inhale, lift and lengthen. And then exhale, slowly unwind. Come out of this slowly. So you might notice a little tenderness on that side. Just kind of wiggle it out. Let's inhale, reach up, look up, and exhale, take your twist to your other side. Now this side might be different, so come in gently. So take the hand to the outside of this leg and press the leg into the hand, hand into the leg. Think about twisting from that opposite rib cage first, 
and then the neck, the head turns last. So use your breath. Inhale to lift and lengthen. Bring that breath all the way up to the top of the lungs. And then exhale as you twist a little bit deeper. Notice what you can see on this side. It's a whole new, whole new world over here too. One more breath in. Long, slow breath out. Twist to your edge, only to your edge. And then as you inhale, big breath in. Use your exhalation to slowly unwind. Oh, yeah. Let's take some shoulder rolls, just one shoulder and then the other. Let me just shake that out. Good. Take your feet right in front of you again so you can see your toes. Lift and spread your toes. And then lower just your toes and lift your heels, sort of like you have stilettos on. I don't know if you can see my feet. Lift and spread your toes. Lower your heels. And then lift your heels. Good. One more. Inhale as you lift and spread your toes as wide as you can. Get really wide. They call these yoga toes. This is good. And then exhale as you lift your heels. Good. Slowly lower the feet. Um, bring your left foot to the floor about in front of your chair leg. And then hug your right knee into your chest. You can go ahead and sit back so you're comfy. Just keep those shoulders down away from the ears. Take some ankle circles going in one direction. Good. And then the other. Excellent. Let's take it in the opposite direction again. And then the other. Nice job. Here we are. We're going to take a hold of our calf and see if we can straighten our leg right in front of us. Good. So we're going to have to use some of those muscles in our quadricep to do this. Keep that left foot on the floor. Okay, so I'm not marrying you now, just as a warning. Sorry. Point your toe and flex your toe. And if you feel like you have enough strength in your um, abs and your leg, you can go ahead and let go. Always the option to come back. So a few more points and, and flexes. We're in a modified boat pose here. Yep, I'm feeling my quad if you are too. Good for you. Excellent. Let's take one more flex, drawing those toes toward our face. And one more point, and then let that go. Yeah, take a hold of the back of your leg and just let that knee, let the foot dangle. Just going slowly, small little circles, just let it go. Yeah, good, excellent. All right, let's hug that left knee in. Right foot to the floor, take some circles. Notice if one foot cracks, one ankle, I mean cracks. Maybe the other one doesn't. Maybe they both crack. Celebrate it. Celebrate the ankle cracks. Good. And one more in each direction. Let's get those ankles nice and juicy. And then send it forward. Go forward, you leg, young leg. And point and flex here. Let's get that quadricep on this side all fired up because who doesn't want a fired up quadricep? Good. A couple more points and flexes. You've got this. That's a lot of work right here. Excellent. One more. Flex those toes towards your face. Lift it up. Maybe a little bit higher. Oh yeah. We can do this. And then point and then lower. Ooh, hold the back of that leg, just let it dangle. Release, let it go. Excellent. All right, so we're going to bring our feet to the floor again. Slide our bootes right to the center of the chair. And then um, feet are, are going to be right in front of those chair legs, hip width about. We're going to start with our sun salutations, but we'll, we'll take it easy. 
We'll check in with the lower back as we go and we can modify as necessary. So when you're ready, arms come out wide. Inhale, reach up for all the goodness. Let your palms touch over your head. And as you exhale, sweep that good energy all around you and lean forward. First to start, take a hold of the back of your chair if you have something you can take a hold of. And then loop your shoulders right behind you, squeezing your shoulder blades, squeezing your shoulder blades together once again. Once again, so it's like we're flying, like you could let go and imagine you're flying. <clears throat> but here we are checking in with our lower back, feet on the floor again. This is phase one, always easy. You can just stay here. When you're ready, slowly use your abs to come back up. We'll inhale, sweep up again. And exhale, if you feel like you are ready, let's come forward a little bit more, maybe taking a hold of the back of the chair, maybe belly comes down to the tops of the legs. Good. So again, shoulders drawing back, away from the ears, just feeling that stretch in the lower back. Now, that might be too much, you might just wanna come up, just take a little pause here, allowing your elbows to rest on your legs. So how you doing? When you're ready, use the strength of your abs to come up again. We'll take it a little further, unless that's where you want to stop. So as you exhale, fold forward. This time, if you're comfortable coming forward, bring your hands down to the floor or blocks and let your head just dangle. Shake your head yes. And shake your head no. Good. Let's take a big breath in and a long breath out and just really let go. You can even bring your hands to your elbows and come into a modified rag doll here. So this is a really deep stretch for the back, lower back. So just be gentle. Give it some time to really stretch. You can just let your shoulders come forward your chin draw toward your chest, back of the neck nice and long. Feet firmly on the floor, so no falling out of chairs. Let's take one more big breath in, filling up that upper back. And a long exhalation. And then as you're ready, take your hands to your fronts of your legs, just walk your way up, and we'll come up one vertebrae at a time until your chin and your head come up, and we'll just stack our spine. Good, and here we are. And just take a moment to notice your spine. So feel that energetic uh, stuff that's going, that's the, that's the technical word for it, the energetic stuff that's going on in your spine as you elongate. All right, so you know where you can stop. There's lots of places along this journey to stop. But if you'd like to move along with our sun salutation, join me. Inhale, reach up, let your palms touch, and exhale, forward fold. Inhale, press into the earth with your feet and come up halfway, gazing slightly forward. Exhale, fold again. Inhale, press into the earth and rise up. Let your palms touch and then draw your hands to your heart center. Good. We'll begin again. We'll take this a couple more times and then we'll add on. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, forward fold. Going to your edge only. No one else's. Inhale, halfway lift and exhale, forward fold. Good, press into the earth with your feet. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, hands draw to heart center. Last one, inhale, reach up. And exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway. And exhale, refold. 
Inhale, root into the earth. Rise up, reaching up. Let your fingertips touch, your palms touch, and then draw them right down through the center of the body. Let them rest at your heart, Anjali Mudra. Close your eyes for just a moment. Release your hands to your legs, palms face up, shoulders draw back, eyes closed, just tune in. See if you can take a full breath, maybe the fullest breath yet. Pause at the top of the inhalation and exhale to let it go. You're doing great. When you're ready, blink open your eyes. Let's take, take some twists and add some fun little accoutrement to our sun salutation. When you're ready, palms face forward. Draw your belly in. Sit nice and tall. Tall posture. Chin tucked. Inhale. Reach up. Look up. Exhale. Go ahead and fold forward. Inhale. Take a halfway lift. And exhale. Bring your hands to your heart center. And take your right elbow to the outside of your left leg. And notice what happens to your, your uh, bent knees. See if you can keep them facing forwards parallel. And take a twist to the left side. Sophie, are you coming back over? Good. Good. Keeping those hands pressed together. See if you can draw your gaze up toward the left, twisting from that right rib cage. Sophie just came up and gave me a nice kiss on my right knee and then just walked away. It's always nice. Big breath in. And as you exhale, keep your hands right where they are. Just take your twist to the other direction. We'll pause here, linger here. Good. Breathe in, keeping knees parallel. <laughs> Good exhalation, Sophie. She, she just plopped down and gave us a really nice long model of how to exhale. Good. Breathe in. And as you exhale, forward fold again. Find your version of this forward fold. Chin comes to chest, and then we'll rise up one vertebrae at a time, just as we did. And as we do, inhale your arms up to the sky and take your side bend. So one hand can hold the side of the chair if that gives you more stability. See if you can take your gaze under the opposite, under the arm that is extended. Inhale, reach up and take your side bend to the other side. Good. On this next inhalation, both arms rise. Reach up, sitting tall, reaching tall, looking up at your finger, fingertips. Good. And then take your hands behind your head. So just fingertips grazing the sides of the head, sitting up. And then take your elbows in toward one another. See if they can touch and round forward. See if you can bring your elbows toward your legs somewhere in that general vicinity. And then inhale as you rise up. Open the arms. Gaze up. Lean back. Slight little back bend. And then release your hands. Sit up tall. Good. And I'll take that. Two more times, see if we can remember all the parts. Inhale, reach up. Good. Exhale, go ahead and fold forward. Inhale to your halfway lift. And bring your hands to your heart. Let's twist in the opposite direction, wherever you went first. Keeping the legs parallel, gazing up. Good. Pressing leg into elbow, elbow into leg. Excellent breath there, Sophie. She's given us some good, good slow inhalations and exhalations. On your next exhalation, switch the side of your twist. Take it over to the other side, keeping the legs parallel. Good. Elbow presses into leg. Gaze is up over that shoulder. Good. One more breath in. Good. And your exhale releases that. Nice. 
Inhale, root to rise, coming all the way up, reaching up. Let's take the side bend to the opposite side that you started, switching it up. Again, legs are parallel. You can hold on to the side of your chair. See if you can take a little bit deeper without falling. <laughs> Definitely don't want to fall out of our chair, but see if you can lean over, getting that side stretch, keeping both buns firmly planted on your chair. And then switch sides. So we've been here before. Let's just see if we have a little more stretch in us. Take your gaze under that extended arm. Good. And inhale, reach your arms up. And then exhale, take your fingertips behind your head. Open up, lean back. Little back bend here. So draw the belly into the spine as you back bend. Support that lower back. And then as you exhale, belly comes back into spine, round forward. Bring the elbows toward one another and take them down towards your legs. Good, inhale, open it up. One more back bend. And exhale, let it go. Good job. Hmm. Let's pause here, Sit a, seated right where we were. Lift and spread your toes and then lower them down to the mat. And then just let your hands rest, palms face up. Take a moment to appreciate the bird singing outside my window. No, take a moment to appreciate where we've been. So feel your, your body. Maybe you notice a little bit of warmth. I do. Let your breath move in and move out with those pauses. When we take time to pause, we notice things we didn't notice before. So let's just pause here. Good. And take one more breath in. Blink your eyes open wide on the exhalation. And I'm gonna take my right leg, your left, <laughs> You can go whichever way you want. Over to the right. Keep this uh, other leg facing forward. Good. And then we're going to take a modified uh, warrior pose. So send your arms out from your shoulders. Actually, from your heart. Imagine. From your heart. Just reaching out, extending. So how far can you extend your heart, your beautiful heart? Notice what's going on with your shoulders. Draw them down. Good. <clears throat> and then we're going to take a peaceful warrior, reaching up and leaning back, up and over. And then come back through that warrior pose and take a side angle pose. So this elbow comes to this leg. And keeping that knee over the ankle, take your opposite arm and lean over. So the torso is um, twisting toward the center, toward, toward your um, screen. <laughs> and your extended arm is reaching up and overhead. Good. So you can feel the hip kind of opening up as you twist. Good. One more breath in. And as you exhale, we're going to set, back up, set ourselves back up in our warrior pose and take that one more time. So peaceful warrior. And then side angle. Good. We've got, still got a nice firm foundation here. Feet are perpendicular, but they've given us a wide uh, foundation. So both feet planted. Good. On your next exhalation, just come back and see if you can straighten this extended leg. And then we'll take the hand closest to that leg and inhale as we come into triangle. So the opposite hand will lift. The gaze will come toward that hand somewhere in that general vicinity. And then we'll lean toward this leg. Now, um, you can press your leg into your hand, your hand into your leg to give you a little more 
of a twisting action of the, the waist here. And notice what's going on with your breath. So this is a little more, again, constricting. See if you can smooth out your breath. Good. We'll take one more full breath together. Here we are together again, breathing. Together, wherever we go. And on your exhalation, slowly unwind. We'll take a hold of this leg, bring it on back. Let's just take one cat cow. So on your inhalation, draw your belly forward, your chest forward, shoulders come back, gaze up. And on your exhalation, draw the belly into the spine round. Oh shoot, that felt good. Let's take two more. (laughs) Just work out the kinks. Moving with your breath. So good for us. And come back to center. We'll take that to the other side. So um, my left foot, perhaps your right. And the front knee is over the front ankle. And then extend those arms out from your heart. Send your love in both directions. Take a nice big breath. Flip that extended arm and reach it up and over. Maybe hold on to your chair on the other side. Peaceful warrior. Good. Big breath in. And on your nice, long, slow exhalation, take your side angle. And the opposite arm reaches overhead, torso twist toward the center, both feet pressing into the floor, legs deeply engaged with this practice. Good, breathe in. Breathe out. On your next exhalation, we'll come back up, warrior two, warrior pose. Reach it up and over, peaceful, because that's what we are. And then send it back down into your side angle. And this might feel really good. So linger here as you so desire. Twisting that torso toward your camera, toward your screen, and reaching up and over. Good. Nice breath in. And a slow breath out. Inhale as you rise back up. And exhale, bring your hands to your heart. Bring that leg back to center. Let's take a couple more cat cows. Inhale to shine and exhale to round. Let's take one more, slowing down the breath. Good. Nice job. So, if you're ready, I think we'll come to standing. Now, I can't see you, so decide if you, you want to come to standing. We'll try a little balance. So, see if you can, um, if possible, come into your feet. Feel your feet. Lean forward just ever so slightly and rise up using the strength of your legs. If not, use the side of your chair. And we'll come to one side of our chair, and we'll use the chair for support here. So um, we're going to come into a tree pose. So whichever side of the chair, that closest hand will hold on to the chair. And then look down at your feet. See if they're hip width. Scooch them out if they're not. And then lift and spread those toes, yoga toes. And go ahead and press the pinky toe and the fourth toe and the third and the second and the first into the mat. And then just for a moment, release your chair, come into mountain pose. So here we are. This is a completely perfect balance pose for any of us, any time. Our legs are engaged, our posture is good, we're gazing at something that's not moving. And here we stand. So this is fine. But if you'd like to try a little, little tree, so take your chair, and come into your the leg that is closest to your chair and decide if you would like to place your ankle 
your, your heel against your ankle as you open up, externally rotating your leg. Or perhaps you want to reach down and place the foot on the inner thigh, not on the knee, but the inner thigh. And you can take one hand to half Anjali Mudra, or you can come into tree pose with both hands at your heart, knowing your chair is right there, always right there. Good. Now from here, find something to gaze at that's not moving. So if you have a mirror, not a good idea to look (laughs) at yourself. If you'd like to reach, extend your branches, one or both. If you have any leaves to drop, anything that's, you know, needs to be let go of. Notice what happens to your breath as things start to get a little wobbly. We can still manage our breath here. So let's take two more breaths, manageable breaths. Slow and easy. Good. And then when you're ready, release that leg forward and just shake it out. Yeah, not so bad, right? Good. Let's take a walk to the other side of our chair and decide if we want to try to use the chair. Maybe, you know, one side is usually a little more difficult. It definitely is for me. So lift and spread your toes again and then firmly grip. Notice what happens when you really grip the mat with your toes. First of all, you're bringing lots of good blood flow into your joints of your feet. Supposedly it helps with bunion prevention. (laughs) There's a lot. There's a lot of great things that yoga does for us. Probably many that we're not even aware of. My husband's tired of hearing about it. (laughs) Yoga is a cure-all. All All right. So just a moment in mountain pose to appreciate this balance, this pose. And then bring your weight into your other leg, your opposite leg. Externally rotate and decide where your tree pose will be on this side based on your body, your sense of balance today. Maybe you're going to hold on to the chair. Maybe you're going to lift that leg up to the inner thigh and press the leg into the foot just as firmly as the foot is pressing into the leg. Find your drishti, your gazing point. Sometimes the leg slips down if your pants are slippery. Really press into that foot. So it's a lot of muscular engagement. Maybe you reach your arms. And wherever you are, even if you're falling out, come back and tune back into your breath. Good. See if you can take some control over the breath. Take one more full breath in. And a nice long exhalation. And then come down when you're ready. Come down from your tree. Excellent. And then just walk it out. Good job. All right, let's come behind our chair. And we'll take a modified downward facing dog. So this should feel really good on our backs. And hopefully our backs are nice and ready for this. So we're going to bring our feet about as wide as our chair legs. And then just drape yourself over the back of the chair until you can feel that engagement or that stretch in your hamstrings. Nice flat back, draw your shoulders um, back so you can feel your shoulder blades and your upper back working. And just come to where you feel that stretch. So good, this is a nice stretch, right? And we'll stay here for just a minute. And maybe you want to walk your dog. You can lift, bend one knee and then the other, lift one heel and then the other. Or maybe you just want to stay right where you are. Excellent. Let's take one more breath in. 
and another breath out as we slowly take your hands to the back of the chair rise on up and then one more thing before we come back down take your legs wider so we're going to come into a sumo squat so if you know your knees will not accommodate this this will be um, the last thing we do before we come back to our chair so toes pointing out a little bit of a wider stance and just take yourself down how low can you go so think about opening up uh, the legs so you're you're drawing your legs back you can feel that engagement maybe you hold one hand uh, one hand holds your chair maybe you want to release your hands maybe you want to send your arms up so lots of levels here and maybe you want to rise up on your toes if you really feel like you need a little bit more today maybe not Notice what happened to your breath. I know, mine just got choppy. As I start to wobble, my breath starts to get slop sh sloppy and choppy. <laughs> Good. Draw those pinkies toward one another. Maybe you come down, maybe you come back up. We'll be here for five breaths. Maybe you sink down a little bit lower. We've got this. Super strong. I've been doing a lot of legs lately. I'm, my legs are feeling really sore. <laughs> but soon they will be feeling strong. So breathe in, always the option to hold your chair and breathe out. Good, three more breaths, we've got this. Sometimes you just have to get quiet when things get difficult. Focus on the breath. One more, together. Full breath and pause and exhale slowly make your way back up heel toe your feet back into center you did it let's come back to our seats come back to our perch have a seat good take your left foot uh, right in front of your chair leg and draw your right knee into your chest release that lower back and then take it across the leg unless you have hip or knee um, issues you can always modify this crossing in a different way we're coming into figure four as you are able good so this might be where you stay this might be enough feeling that right hip keep that firm foundation with the left foot if you want a little bit more of a hip stretch just bring yourself forward until you feel that stretch in the lower back and decide where you want to land. So you can, you can just pause here or you can round forward. We'll be here for a few breaths. Nice job. So allow the breath to fill you and then release that complete long slow exhalation that does so much good for our nervous system and then begin to slowly come out of this pose taking a hold of this leg giving in an add a girl and then let's switch sides Good, so this side might be different. Acknowledge right and left, different. It's all good, no judgment. Decide if you're gonna stay here or maybe come forward slightly. Round forward. And just come back to your breath, close your eyes. Let this be a passive pose. More of a yin pose than a yang pose. Notice if you're resisting anywhere. See if you can soften, even if it's in your jaw. Even if you drop the tongue from the roof of the mouth, that's going to send a signal to the rest of the body to just let go. See if you have any more space in those hips. Mm. 
Nice. And on your next breath, just slowly make your way back up. We'll take our hands to the side of the chair. Send our legs long. Just slide your bootie up to the front of the chair and take a full body stretch. So you can hold on to the chair. You can reach your arms up if you feel stable, if your chair is not slippery. And just point your toes, reach up, look up, get really long. Good. And then as you exhale, just draw everything in. You can take one more forward fold if you like. And just let it go. And then as you're ready, we'll slowly make our way back up. One vertebra at a time. Drawing the shoulders back up toward the ears and then just as far away as you can get. And then scoot back in your chair so you feel that lower back connection. And just take a moment to pause. See if you made a little more space for the breath. See if you have a a brighter posture. Let your eyes close. Let your hands rest where they're comfortable. Let's take that body scan one more time. We'll start this time from the crown of the head and work our way through the body. Bring your awareness to the top of the head, the scalp, the forehead, the cheekbones and jaw, the front of the throat, the back, the neck, the shoulders, the arms and your hands. Allow your awareness to linger at your heart, acknowledging the good work it does for us every single day, even when we're not thinking about it. Draw your awareness down your torso to your hips, your legs, those knees, calves, shins, ankles, and the feet that hold us up. Keep us steady. Our connection to the earth. And then just silently in your mind, draw that awareness back up your body to the crown of your head, noticing if there's any particular spot that could use some love, maybe where you're feeling some tenderness or pain. See if you can pause there for a moment. Give it the attention it needs. And when that feels complete, just with a comfortable resting of the head on the shoulders, Let's just find a few moments of stillness together, letting go of any control of the breath, just allowing all the movements, all the shapes we've made to integrate in our body, in our mind, in our spirit.
Slowly begin to deepen the breath. Bring some small movements to fingers and toes. Turn the head from side to side, maybe rotate it a couple more times. Just keep your eyes closed. As you take your arms out wide, reaching up for all the goodness, let your palms touch. See if you can find them. They're there. And draw them down to your heart center. And just take a moment with your head bowed in reverence to your own beautiful body, beautiful light, beautiful energy. Just take a moment to pause for one last time. Recall your intention And perhaps make a commitment to yourself to pause throughout your day, throughout your days, to just notice, pay attention. Our body's always talking to us in some way. Sometimes it's louder than others. Let's just give it the attention it deserves. Thank you so much for coming to your mat, to your chair, and for breathing and moving and sending your love out into the world. Namaste. Thanks, you guys. Anybody there?